we are live we are live we are live let me know if y'all can hear me let me know if you can hear me by putting your aliens in the chat <laughs> i see you joshua grace trying to be slick okay i see you brown sugar baby i see y'all don't worry don't worry we're about to get started we are about to get started right now so go ahead and put those aliens in the chat and we'll get started in just a minute Get ready, because you about to be an ATL. That's her being a blogger. More than a blogger. That's her being a blogger. You are more than a blogger. I am more than a blogger. That's her being a blogger. I'm my son. Okay, that's her being a blogger. I am more than a blogger. That's her being a blogger. You are more than a blogger. That's her being a blogger. I am more than a blogger. squad what's up what's up welcome welcome happy wednesday happy wednesday it's hump day we in the middle of the week y'all hey come on in <laughs> come on in come on in yes we in the long version i thought i had all the time in the world i was just sitting here then i looked at the clock and i'm like oh my god it's 903 i'm up here pulling up stuff trying to make sure i got all the stuff i need to talk about and i'm just like la 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 la, la. like i got 10 more minutes child and i was late i'm sorry y'all I'm sorry. I see y'all. Shout out to my mods for letting y'all know to please stand by. Look at Princess AG. DL Shula was in there holding it down. Okay. Uh, where the rest of the mods? Sai and Simply Shy Shy and Miss Kiki and Jazabel. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Y'all see these people in the green. These are our channel sponsors. They pay a little bit extra to sponsor the channel over here. And they get, you know, some extras and stuff. Y'all may have seen the little stream I did the other day. I saved it to uh, the members only. Also, uh, shout out to my Patreons because they get it too. Because a lot of times when I save it to members only, I will download the video and upload it to Patreon. So if you want or the other or both, either way it goes, you will see the video when it's eventually <laughs> like deleted. You know what I mean? So uh, shout out to all of my uh, supporters. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I would be remiss if I didn't tell you to put your pink hearts in the chat for Mama Brown because she in here. I be Listen, I gave her a job. She has a job. I be telling her she needs to do the time stamps. <laughs> she be like, I need to do the time stamps. I'm like, yes, please do my time stamps since you in here anyway. So Mama Brown be doing the time stamps for y'all. So y'all need to thank her. But the time steps y'all been getting, okay? She been on it, log on it. She be doing her job. I be like, okay, Mama Brown, I appreciate you. Okay, uh, hey y'all, hey y'all. They go, Miss Kiki. I see you, friend. They go, okay. Simply shies in there. I see y'all. Hey, Maria, what's up? Thank y'all for the pink hearts. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, um. Oh, this this live gonna be a mess, child, because I I got so much to talk about that I couldn't figure out what to talk about first. So I decided to do just a live talking about escape, but then I threw some stuff in there anyway because you know I have to give y'all a little time to get in here. But uh, I you know I wanted to go ahead and talk about Nene Leaks and Carlos King. You saw them riding around in the car, so we got a few clips of that. We're gonna uh, review, uh, you know, because this is the Nene News Network, according to the people on the street. Uh, I also what a, what else did I put on here? I put um Cassie and Diddy and 
Oh, all that Diddy stuff, child, that Diddy stuff be draining me. But we're going to talk about a little bit of the Diddy stuff, child, because I don't know. It's just going, I don't know when that's going to end, child. It's just going on and on and on. Then I also added, um, <laughs> somebody said Sheree Whitfield. Sheree Whitfield has a new face. And I'm like, where is that? Because it looked like the same old face to me. <laughs> it looked like the same old face to me. So she be using like, Fil uh, the same thing, Dee Dee and everybody else does. She use filters and everything. So, um, Sheree got a new face. Uh, what else is on the agenda? Oh, of course, I would be remiss if I didn't troll the trolls. Uh, Kenya Moore Hair Spa, the Kenya Moore Team Twirl, they hate me, and that's okay. I, I love to be hated, you know, because I love that you're even watching Team Twirl. And Team Twirl is apparently mad at me for putting uh, Kenya Moore Hair Spa on blast. And I'm like, well, what's so hard about opening the hair spa? Is it open? Is it closed? Are you taking appointments? Are you not? Like, what is it's so hard? And so, because I was out in the streets, I decided to go by there and I took a picture of what I saw. <laughs> Because I'm petty. Okay. So I'm going to talk about Kenya Moore Hair Spa grand opening, grand closing. I guess. I don't know. She must don't have her contract. I don't know. And of, of course, last but not least, we're going to talk about um, this escape drama because Latasha said she wants her money. And I told you she was going to say that. And I, you know, I'm like, look at straight from the A blog and they ain't blogged in a year. And they went and put the documents over on their site. Shout out to straight from the A. I.e. me. Okay. Uh, let me see what y'all talking about in this chat. You said messy Michelle. <laughs> yes, that's my look. That's why they call me Michelle O Drama, honey. That's okay. I'll be messy. I will take the heat because I want to know, and I know that you want to know, and it's my job to tell y'all what y'all want to know, what we want to know. Okay. Uh, you said I don't get enough, I can't get enough of the trolls. I just can't. They just want to talk about me all the time. First, they was dragging me, talk about. Kenya don't do weaves, and now she got a whole five hundred dollar weave section on the website to, <laughs> with the white girls doing the weaves. Then they be talking about you need to support a black business. Well, how are we supporting a black business? Ain't no black hairstylists up there. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's nothing but white girls in there trying to do black people hair, and, and I'm just not. I'm I'm not here for it. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, listen, listen, listen. Let me go ahead and show y'all the picture, child, because it ain't, it is, I'm not going to do a whole story on Kenya Moore Hair Spot, but I will, you know, show y'all uh, the picture that uh, I got when I was driving past there. Mm, hold on, let me send it to myself. I can never send stuff to myself when I want to. Hold on, let me see. So I was like, what is going on? It is, what time was it? Let me see what time it was. It was early in the day, too. It was still light outside. It say it was yesterday at 6 o'clock p.m. That was on a Tuesday at 6 o'clock p.m. The salons should be open. Shouldn't they be open? I think they should be open. But apparently, Kenya Moore Hair Spot was not. And that's not a, a drag because they're never open. <laughs> they're only open when she's doing something or she thinks she's doing something for uh, the show or, you know, to, to get her peach or whatever. I don't know, child, but here is this picture. Hold on, let me let me open it. Let me let me open this right here. Open in preview. Okay, open, open, open it. Preview photo. I don't want to open that photo. I just want to open it. Hold on. Talk amongst y'all while I open it. Because I don't want y'all to see all these pictures of me that keep popping up. <laughs> okay, there it is. It downloaded there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna save it right there. Okay, now I'm gonna open it up like that. It's still telling me to open with the photo. Okay, freak it. I'm just gonna open with the photos. Hold on. I'm just gonna open it and then I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna show it to y'all. Hold on. Bam, bam, boom. Oh. Okay, save. Okay. It's saved. Now open. Now put it right over there. Okay. Now, uh, this picture right here was taken at approximately 6 o'clock p.m. on April 2nd. You know, as I was making my way down Peachtree Industrial Boulevard in Shambly, 
and it was closed yet again okay y'all said y'all want to know it was closed yet again and it's a big ass crane right there and i'm like is are they gonna take the um are they there to take the sign down because hell she just got it put up I'm like it's like what's going on what's going on over there with the kenya moore hair spa okay she just had the open house the grand opening grand closing it was nobody there but team twirl they all wore lavender and white it was like a little little uh fan club get together they had little finger foods and hot dogs and vienna sausages and stuff over there to eat and then they left they got their little gift bags okay now what is happening is, are they about to take the sign down I mean, I got to go back tomorrow and see if the sign's still there. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I almost got out the car, but I'm like, I ain't going to even do it because they think that it's overkill. But that's okay. I took the picture. Okay. It's my picture. Okay. It was, and it was, it's there. It, people who live over there, over there in the apartments up there, y'all let me know if the thing's still there and send me another pe pe picture. Yes, the Vienna sausages and spam and whatever else they was eating. <laughs> you said you heard you search it. <laughs> not the chitlins, child. Maybe it's in foreclosure. No, I hope not. Not the black business that hire the white stylists in foreclosure. No, we want to support the black business that hire white stylists. Anyway, let me move on before Team Twirl uh start reporting my <laughs> report my page uh moving on moving on like this video as y'all get in here please and thank you right we was trying to figure out why candy wasn't at the event why Mangetta wasn't at the event why wasn't uh chef shay at why didn't chef shay cater the event it looked like she just ordered from chick-fil-a and had it spread all over the table why weren't the people at the event hmm. candy's cream corn okay not just nasty for nothing. Oh, not you mad for nothing. Why is you so mad? I don't understand why Kenya more hair care people be getting mad and, and be over here. Why? And they subscribers. Why are y'all subscribing to me and y'all don't like me? <laughs> or maybe they not subscribe. Let me put on subscribers only. Then if they if they still talking, we'll know they subscribers. Then we're gonna go for members, right? <laughs> anyway. Moving on, you said Roy didn't support, honey. Roy probably don't even know she exists. He's too busy over there doing kale salads. Kale me crazy. Kale, kale juice and kale corn and all kind of stuff. <sighs> okay. He said, y'all know Kenya ain't good at planning. Mm -hmm. Why didn't she order from Candy's restaurant? By the time it got there, it would have been cold. First of all, Kenya's hair spot is in Chambly. And Candy's restaurants are in downtown Atlanta and East Point. So by the time the food got to to to, to Shambly in Atlanta traffic, it would have been ice cold. Mm -mm. She didn't want to do that. It's a Chick Fil A down the street though, and a McDonald's and and a Whole Foods. Uh, but I digress. Uh, moving on. Shout out to Kenya Moore Hair Spa, honey. I hope she get it right soon. I just uh, I hope she gets it right soon. Uh, speaking of another uh, housewife, we hope that, that gets it right soon. Nene leaks. Y'all know this is a Nene News Network. Nene Leaks, honey, has been uh, flouncing around town with Carlos King. And we was like, what is you doing, Nene? Why is you over there with the blogger like that? Why is you hanging out with bloggers, Nene? We don't understand. <laughs> But anyway, let me let me show you. Nene was on her page, honey. Well, you know, she over here showing all her fashion. Let me see what she did. She said, if you are a side piece, chick out here wait i can't read it if you are a side piece chick out here i think you need to love yourself a little bit more me i am number one or no number at all first of all i don't want to be number one i want to be the only number nene why is you up here encouraging side chick culture telling the girls they need to love each other we need to love ourselves okay we need to be not number one we need to be the only one okay anyway i'm digressing this nini's page now i'm just saying they go nini okay they go nini okay she said she is catching flights not feelings i'm all in her page we see, we see the food she said she is eating lunch for one okay 
And there she is with her jogging suit, her little uh, satin outfit on. Okay, shout out to Nene. Shout out to Nene. She looking good now. You can't say Nene ain't looking good. You cannot say Nene ain't looking good. Okay. Um, let me see what else we got. She said she been that girl and will always be her. Okay, been it will always be it, and she gonna keep showing you she is it. Okay, shout out to Nene. I don't. We don't want to see him. And then she said, a man can apologize, cry, and even faint and still be lying. <sighs> is Nene sending Yoni these, 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 these subliminal messages? Is she, is she sending Yoni's alleged side chick these subliminal messages? I need to know who the subliminal <laughs> who the subliminals is for. That's what I need to know. But anywho, uh, speaking of Nene, you know, she went on her little um uh ride along with the blogger Carlos King recently. And, you know, they went viral as they often do. You know, anytime Nene goes live, the blogs are going to take it. Okay. And so this blog called Live Bites, the same one who cut me out of the live with Peter Thomas, actually uh, <laughs> had uh, caught Nene and Carlos and said, uh, Carlos and Nene debate whether it's harder for women or gay men to date in Atlanta. Nene thinks it's harder for women because they are more picky. Hmm. Let's see what they said. Hold on. We're going to listen to this clip first. Uh, yeah, I know the drill. Copyright disclaimer on section 107. Copyright Act allowances made fair use for purposes such as criticism, coming, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Being that Nene did not post this on her YouTube channel, I don't think anybody should claim ownership. But if they do, you know, we got to. Be careful out here. You know, it's hard out here in these streets. Now, let's listen. And I are having a debate about being dating in Atlanta. So when you're dating in Atlanta, is it harder for women to date in Atlanta or is it harder for the gays? First of all, I need him to uh, keep his eye on the road. You need three and 12, uh, Carlos, three and 12. Isn't that where you're supposed to keep your hands? 10 and 2. 10 and 2, 3 and 2. Anyway, you need to keep your hands on the steering wheel and stop flouncing your elbows and your wrists, Carlos. We, Nene had the camera. She was the star of the show. We didn't need you doing all that. Now, I say it's harder for women today. So many women are side pieces. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like... We call them macaroni. Look, the car just swerving. Carlos just laughing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. With no cheese. Do you value yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Do you put your head... He took both hands off the steering wheel. Is you driving the superstar? You supposed to be driving and keeping your hands on the steering wheel. He just laughing, throwing them up. <laughs> Value yourself, honey, <laughs> or do you just some people See, don't? Gays, I told you. Uh, uh, no, I don't. No, I don't believe. Listen, I. We live in Atlanta. It's a gay city. I see gays everywhere. I feel like they could date all day. I feel like it's difficult for women to date because with women, you know, you always want a certain something. So you want your guy to either be, you know, in a certain tax bracket. Um, you want him to just be, some people say, I want my man to be tall. He needs to be whatever. And I think women are a little bit more pickier. But what Carlos and I were talking about, well, there are so many women. Carlos thinks that there are men who are married and they have a side piece, a mistress, a, a this, a that, the other. Yeah, because this is the thing. A lot of men in Atlanta who are married, 90% of them have a side piece. Okay. How he know? Unless he messing with the, the married men. See, this is my problem. I love the gays. Now, before y'all start saying, Michelle, homophobic, blah, 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 blah. Some gay men who are public figures, <laughs> some gay men who are public figures are total misogynistic pieces of S-H-I-T. Now, I'm not saying that Carlos is one of them because I don't pay him enough attention, but I just don't like the fact that you spewing out these percentages and these numbers and you aren't a part of that community. Now, if we was to sit here and go, 90% of gay men uh, uh, be actually like women better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They would say we are wrong. Mind your business. Stay
stay in your lane. Stay over there in your heterosexual business. So now I feel like Carlos needs to stay over there in his homosexual business. Let me finish. Okay. But why are women accepting the role as a side? The reason why a lot of these married uh, women in Atlanta are accepting side pieces. Not married women, just women. Well, well women, women in, in general. general. But yeah. no, the reason why a lot of women are accepting being a side piece is because they know that it's, it's for every straight black man in Atlanta, mm -hmm. there's 20 women in between him. Okay. So the ratio is not in the best um, place for women. Mm -hmm. So women are like, well, damn, I want, you know, some love in a Chanel bag. So how he know what women are like? That's my point. Carlos, you is not a woman. I was in the chat. I said, I said, Carlos, you is not a woman. How you gonna tell us what women are like? I don't like that. Don't be telling us what women are like. It's a woman right there. Look at Nene's face. Nene was like, uh, he, tr she trying to, she trying to be nice. I could see it in her face. She was like, uh, this ain't what I signed up for. Let's listen. So, oh my as, God. as long as go to work. As long as you're <laughs> you saw her look at me, was like, oh my God, what the hell? A wife has you Monday through Friday. I mean, me and you can't go to the hotel Saturday and Sunday? No, honey, because my man has to be with me on the weekend. Nene and I are having a debate about. Okay, so Nene said her man be with her on the weekends. Okay, Monday through Friday, I don't know. It don't matter. Anyway, uh, in part two of this clip that they caught, Nene admitted. That uh, she said she could deal with respectful cheating. That is cheating if she does not know about it. There need to be rules, though, like the side piece staying away when the man is with his main woman. Now, I don't like that either. I know some women are like that. Some women who have been married for a long time are like, you know, as long as I don't find out, you know, I'm good. You know, as long as he is respectful and and, and she don't never call my come to my house. I call my house. You know, I'm good as long as every time I call him and he pick up the phone, I'm good. That's what some women are like, and that's why you know they marriages. Some of their marriages work, I guess. But you know, I ain't like that. Like I said, I don't need to be number one. I need to be the only one. Let's finish now. Respect for cheating, I could deal with that. You can. I might, yeah, because see, look, if I'm here in Georgia and you went to San Francisco for the I'm just saying, I'm saying any city. I'm saying if he went to New York for the weekend. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. What I don't, what you don't know. Won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. However, if you're going to cheat, you need to do it with respect. That's like saying if a tree falls in the woods, does it still make a sound? I think it does. I mean, just because you ain't there. I mean, just because you don't know don't mean it ain't cheating. It's still cheating, right? Now, you, yes. do, you do need... I don't like people who are not respectful. So, these are the ones that aren't respectful. Yes. They're talking to the side piece and lying to them. First of all, you already lied to whoever this is. On this. First of all, just like they said, like Jody Tyree said on Baby Boy, they don't lie to the side cheat chick they lie to the main chick because they don't care about what the, they tell the side chick the truth because <laughs> they don't care about their feelings <laughs> that's what the people say i don't know side so if you're gonna be respectful you first you tell that person you give me 50 feet on my woman like, <laughs> don't ever approach me when you see me with my woman so oh, that's no the rule day. number one you can never approach i can imagine somebody approaching me it would just be like what <laughs> You. What is happening? Who sent you to me? What yes. are you doing right now? Yes. So yeah, I do agree that there have to be respectful cheating. Is that what you call it? It's called respectful cheating. Respectful it's when cheating. your side piece doesn't call my phone saying, "Put my man on the phone." B. And it's like, well, dang girl, or say, post it say, on say, your say. social media. Yeah. Or or when the yeah. side piece posts the arm of the man with his right. tattoos, so you could see the year he was born and the year of his of his daughter so that you can identify that yeah girl this is my man too that's disrespectful cheating that keep is. your keep your side pieces in check that's now that's <clears throat> true keep your side piece in check yeah. well if you thought if you if your man had a side piece i mean has he ever had a side piece my man yeah although he's that, african okay. he has never had a side piece <laughs> Why did she talk about why he talk about although he's African? Why does that always have oh that is so derogatory? Now respectful cheating, I could deal with that. 
You can. I might. Let's 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 not. Yeah, I feel like she's joking too. I hope she's joking. Lord, I hope she's joking. But anyway, uh, it was taken out of context. That that live stream was actually almost an hour long. Um, there was also some things that were seen uh in the live stream, uh, like cameras. Okay. Uh a little birdie told me, you know, I got lots of little birdies that be chirping in my ear all the time. A little birdie told me that uh Carlos uh is working on a project or he pitch he wants to pitch a project where he rides around in the car with people and picks them up and have like all of these conversations kind of like taxi cab confessions or car carry car karaoke where they be singing and then a little bit you know spill a little tea a little bit and then sing a little r&b a little bit or something like that but even even with those ideas those are somebody else's ideas other people have already done that but i guess you know they haven't been uh, a black man doing it a black gay man doing it and uh he wanted i guess nini to be uh, a part of that now i you know i don't know what how much of a part of it i don't know if she's gonna do it again i don't know but i just heard that she was supposed to be like the co-host and that uh, uh the, they didn't pick up nobody <laughs> yes like james cordon yes stop biggie Yes, like that. Okay, a lot of people do it. You know, we, like, I, Josh and I go live in the car all the time. I call it car chats. You know, a lot of people, like, we're in the car uh, the majority of our lives, especially if we don't work at home. But I mean, you know, it's a good idea, I guess. But it's not like it's never been done. I'm just saying, <laughs> especially the singing part. Okay, yes, James. Remember he did with the Usher stuff, and yeah. Mm. He said his shows are failing. He is reaching, child. <sighs> well, anyway, enough of Nini and Carlos. Um, I, you know, I wish them both the best. Uh, again, I don't think that. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I suspected when I watched it that Carlos was doing too much, and I felt like Nini felt he was doing too much. But I don't know. Just my, you know, perception of watching it. Y'all, y'all saw me in the chat. I was in the chat like Carlos. Come on now, Carlos, be for real. So. There's that you said it's been done already. Okay. Uh Radiant said Nini is always helping Carlos platform. I know he need to cut her a check, honey. He needs to cut her a check. Uh, maybe she feel bad for him because you know Carlos literally is out here struggling like the rest of us. Carlos is a blogger, he is making all his money on YouTube, and I ain't mad at it. But don't be dissing the YouTube. He has rubbed me the wrong way ever since he got on YouTube and was mad because somebody called him a blogger. Negro, that's what you doing. You was on here blogging. I don't care if you produce stuff on the side. <laughs> you are a blogger at this point. You making more money blogging than you are producing them penny and the shows you got because ain't nobody watching them. But I'm digressing. <laughs> I'm digressing. Anyway, put a one in the chat if you would watch uh, Carlos King driving around town picking up people. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you think that is a great idea. Put a five in the chat and say, you know, it's been done. You are over it. And put an eight in the chat if you're like, whatever. One, five, or eight, one if you will watch it. A five if you like, it's been done already. A eight if you just don't care either way, honey. Okay. Oh, not a five. Y'all ain't gonna watch, Carlos? Yes. Yes. Ha ha ha. I'm just like, listen, if you're going to do it, Carlos, keep your steer your hands on the steering wheel. You are driving precious cargo. I would not get in the car with you if you can't damn, uh, watch the road. You're too busy trying to watch watch the, the chat. <laughs> watch the road if you're going to drive. If you're not going to drive, get a driver and both of y'all sit in the back. I'm just saying. Anywho, moving on. You said she is the white man already. Did. <laughs> can't people come up with something different? Ooh. Carlos' voice is annoying. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, moving on, moving on. Like this video, please, and thank you as you get in here. Uh, we have some other topics to cover quite quickly. Uh, Sheree Whitfield's new face. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't see no new face. I see the old face. I mean, let me see. Y'all say she got a new face. I say she got filters. Every time I look at Sheree, I see the same old Sheree. Hold on. Maybe because I see her out in the streets and stuff. She looked the same. 
like right there she looked the same you could tell she got a little lip flip she got a little fill, fillers her cheeks are plumped up okay you said her face has finally settled is that what it is look y'all need to be talking about a, a phaedra face but let me finish looking okay there goes sheree again look she looked the same don't she look the same right there that was just march 7th okay let me see that was some uh, okay that was when she was talking about her mama okay god bless your mama sheree there goes sheree again right there okay um there she is again right there okay and sheree has shared several times a video of herself getting um you know her face plumped and all kind of stuff and nipped and took and and all kind of things but you know she looked the same to me so you know there she is there she is before so i don't i don't know i think when she wears like blonde hair she looks a bit different you said fil fillers filters just like queen nini well phaedra had some i saw phaedra the other day and I was like, I did not, I did not recognize her. Hold on, let me see Phaedra at the Hawks game. Hold on, Phaedra and her sons at the Hawks game. I saw Phaedra, and I was like, Phaedra over there looking like T.S. Madison with them damn cheek fillers. Hold on, look at that right here. No shade, but I mean, you know, if that's what you aspire to do. Hold on, let me go back. Let me take this. How do I download this picture? Download, download. Okay, stay. Okay, there it is right now. So this picture right here, I was like, the boys look amazing. The boys are growing up. Phaedra and her sons was at the game. <sighs> Shout out to Paris Griffin who took this picture. But I'm like, Phaedra, what happened? This is an unedited photo. What happened? She looking like T.S. Madison. T.S. Mans, she got the 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 soul face. Look him. I don't know, but I I would have stayed in the house that day if my fillers had if it was if I had just got my fillers and my face was still swollen, I would have stayed home. I don't understand what had happened, but the boys look cute. Hold on, let me see if I can find another one. Let me go back. Uh, here go another one. Oh no, go back. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, open. Why won't open? Okay, there it is. Okay. And here's another. She I guess she looked better from the front, but it's still Phaedra was she I mean, you were so pretty without all of that. Why do people always do this to themselves? I don't get it. And the boys are just growing up so fast. You said the bride of Chucky is an allergic reaction. I hope so. Not T.S. Fedra. Where is Fedra? <sighs> Insecurity, I guess. I don't know. But I guess, you know, once you get, you know, on, um, on all these platforms and people are constantly, you know, talking about your looks and stuff. I guess it's kind of hard. I, I try to give them a little grace, but it's like, dang, just can you please just stop? Just stop. I fade can I dress. She she dressed all right. She dressed all right. It's addictive. Hmm. Mm, mm. She did. She was so pretty without it. I don't get it. Then their kids look like they're somebody else's kids, honey. Okay. <sighs> moving on like this video like this video like this video phaedra is still a beautiful woman okay i just hope that those cheeks go down okay i just hope you know the the, the fillers ain't nothing wrong with having big cheeks i got big cheeks but i ain't got no rocks in your jaws like t.s madison and them. like leave that to the transgenders okay because they don't have a natural cheeks and stuff like we got leave that alone phaedra your cheeks was fine i still can't get over this i still can't get over this my friend sent me this picture and I was just like, what is, how is, what happened? Okay, anyway, like this video as y'all get in here. Like this video. Now, <sighs> did he, did he, did he, did he, did he, did he do it? Did he, didn't do it? I'm so tired of talking about Diddy. I, I haven't even deep dove into Diddy yet. However, it's appearing that um, things are heating up as uh cassie has joined the chat at least according to tmz tmz says that cassie has 
uh, actually been cooperating with the feds as if we thought she wouldn't be. Um, but um, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I, I just feel ways about this whole Diddy situation. It's like he's still walking around. He's still on the island dancing, diddy bopping. It's it's like, are you like what's what's happening? Is he having a nervous breakdown? Do, like what is gonna happen? I don't like to see the demise of a man. Just go ahead and do what you're gonna do instead of like sticking the knife in slow, okay? But here it is, Diddy on TMZ. Cassie is cooperating with the feds, and apparently others are talking as well. Okay, uh, Diddy's ex Cassie has been in touch with the authorities in a federal investigation. Not just that, we're told she's, she's cooperating as others who've sued him. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ that Cassie is among the witnesses the feds have been in contact with in connection with the Diddy investigation. They're saying that she's working with investigators for several weeks, presumably even before the homes were raided. Given the timing, it seems that Cassie may have helped the feds establish probable cause to get a judge to sign off on the search warrants. Other women, we're told, have also been in contact with federal investigators. We don't know what Cassie has told the feds, but presumably it mirrors the lawsuit she filed against Diddy in which she alleged he forced her to have SEX with multiple male prostitutes, R-A-P-E-D'd her, B-E-A-T her, and plied her with drugs and alcohol over the course of their relationship. <sighs> Cassie also alleged he engaged in S-E-X trafficking, but Diddy denied it and settled a day after she filed the lawsuit. As we all know, Cassie was in a long-term relationship with Diddy for about 10 years before they split in 2018. A current husband is Diddy's former trainer. Now, there's a lot been going on with uh, this Diddy situation because now even one of his sons is being accused of uh, allegedly drugging and taking advantage of another woman, Christian, Christian Combs, who uh, they've been calling King Combs. Oh, Lord, this is a mess. He said, how does it take an eight-figure settlement and still talking? Okay, Diddy should have kept the money. Okay, he should have kept the money. He spent that money for nothing because <laughs> now she is still talking allegedly 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 now according to vibe magazine christian combs is being accused of actually se actually assaulting and drugging a woman in a lawsuit that has yet to be filed and i'm like how are y'all talking about it it ain't filed yet so I need to know, is it just rumors, innuendo, gossip? That's why I feel a ways when I see certain things. But here is um, the, vibe, uh, law, the Vibe article. Let's talk about this for a hot second, shall we? Um, hold on. So Christian Keys, Christian Combs. Uh, Keys, Lord. Christian Combs is reportedly being named in a looming lawsuit against him uh, of uh, assaulting and drugging a woman. The lawsuit against Combs, the son of embattled rap, embattled rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs, has yet to be officially filed, but is currently in the works, according to attorney Tyrone Blackburn. Now, no shade to attorney Tyrone Blackburn, but he's also the attorney who is representing Lil Rod, the producer who put out all these salacious allegations against Diddy on the heels of him allegedly not being paid for some tracks on the Love album. He's also the attorney who represented Sabrina Peterson against T.I. and Tiny. He's also the attorney who claimed to have all of these... Um, anonymous women <laughs> who uh, were coming forward against T.I. and those women never surfaced. So I'm not saying that Tyrone Blackburn is questionable. I'm just saying he represents a lot of questionable people. I'm just saying. So uh, the whole little Rod thing to me is like, okay, so he would have kept all of that to himself, all of that Meek Mill stuff to himself. All of the stuff about Stevie J to himself. He could have kept all of that to himself if he would have got paid or if he would have got the money that he was asking for. I'm just confused. You would have just like sat there and just watched all the crimes and walked away knowing that 
They allegedly did all of these things. But again, Tyrone Blackburn came to the rescue and now is, you know, putting all this in the media. And I just feel like it's, you'll say it, he's questionable. Okay, I thought it was just me. Because my thing is, T.I. and them are still walking around here. But yet, he did this whole smear campaign in the media about what T.I. and Tiny did to all these women and all these girls and pulled a G.U.N. out on Sabrina Peterson. And then come to find out Sabrina Peterson just had a vendetta against Tiny and 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 and, and Shekana for whatever reason. And it's just like, come on. Like, but anyway, so here we are with another looming lawsuit. So is it that once you get a hook, you kind of pile on because that's what it's seeming like. Because now in on the heels of the little Rod lawsuit, all of a sudden he got a lawsuit. Somebody that came to him alleging that the son has done something to him. And why is it that they all go to the same attorney? Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, according to attorney Tyrone Blackburn, the identity of Combs' alleged victim has yet to be revealed and details surrounding the reported lawsuit are sparse. So why y'all putting, putting this little boy out here like this if you don't even have a lawsuit yet, you don't know the name of the victim and the details are sparse. So they basically putting, putting Christian Combs out here because his daddy is out here. And again, it seems like a pile on. I don't know. But again, I, who am I? I'm just a blogger. Uh, Combs has yet to address the allegations directly. He recently shared a post on social media that says stop the cap, although he didn't give context to what or whom he was referring to. There is Christian right there. Okay. The rapper who performs under the stage name King Combs has been romantically linked to multiple women during his time in the spotlight. Combs dated his ex-girlfriend, Brea Hicks, for several years and is currently dating model Raven Tracy, who recently got Christian's name tatted on her body. The claims made against Combs have been described as serious and thrust him into the vortex of shocking claims surrounding his father, as Diddy has been hit with several lawsuits in recent months, accusing him of the same things. <sighs> Vibe also notes that Blackburn, who has previously represented clients in litigation against celebrities such as T.I. and Tiny, as well as Nicki Minaj and Kenneth, and is also the attorney for Lil Rod Jones, the producer who filed a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs earlier this year. Last month, Homeland Security conducted raids of Diddy's properties, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just not seeming... It's just seeming like a, a witch hunt. I don't again, and I'm not saying that the man didn't do it because you know I'm I'm like 50 cent. Whatever they say he did, he did that. I just don't like the way some people go about it. You're right, Trace. It's a little questionable. Like how they like bust in his house, tear up the house, do all this stuff, and then don't arrest him. Like, what are you looking for? And I get it. It's probably they probably, you know, piling on for a Rico case. You know, the Rico case being, you know, some type of organized crime where Diddy is the ringleader and they trying to get all these people below him. And then perhaps maybe somebody will tell and then they'll finally get him. But it's a mess. You said, I don't think they're going to get anything to stick, but the damage to the reputation has been done. It has been done. No sponsorships, no more hosting parties, no more, just no more nothing. Can they please get Trump first? We know he's guilty, okay? And Trump been running around here with all kind of lawsuits and, 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 and judgments. And yet, here, here we are, okay? Here we are. You late, y'all? Well, welcome, Danny. Welcome. But, you know, that's all I have except for one more thing. Let me talk about Misa really quickly. Let me talk about Misa really quickly. Misa has lawyer, lawyered up. Uh, because she feels that there was a use of uh, excessive force um, in the raid. And she says that, you know, you know, Misa is is a bulldog when it comes to her son now. And now since Kim Porter is no longer there, she's going to be a bulldog for both Justin and Christian. OK, Misa posted the following video and she says the overzealous and overtly military militarized force used against my sons, what a S, Justin and Christian is deplorable. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young black men is despicable. Enough is enough. 
Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young, unarmed black men not make it out of these types of situations alive? I have retained attorney Jeffrey Lickman to represent my son, and he is investigating the excessive use of force, which was unnecessary and certainly not required by this search warrant. We will fight for justice, utilizing every imaginable resource. I'm not with the propaganda. Ooh. Ooh. You said that's it on this topic. Ooh. Okay. You said, what about Stevie J? He said, Diddy wrote this. I'm just looking at the drones, child. They were serious, honey. Oh, no. Not the, not the dot on the boy's chest. And they know that boy didn't have no weapons. Look at that. They did treat him like a criminal. You said you agree with her kind of. Well, why they had him out there like that? They knew where Diddy was. Oh, okay. Well, there's that. There's that. Go ahead and like this video as y'all get in here. You said she did not lie. Okay. Misa need to go sit down somewhere. Why she need to go sit down before they come knocking on her door? Well, I mean, you know, she always defends her son. Remember when Justin uh, got caught that DUI charge, she was the first person to speak out and said she don't care about nobody else. She is speaking up for her son. She's going to protect her son. She did not care about Diddy. She didn't care about anybody else. She was like, my son is my priority. OK, <sighs> well, moving on. You said it sure was not needed. All the big show they put on. I do not blame her. I agree with her. All right. All right like this video as y'all get in here now moving on okay we'll continue with diddy because i'm sure there will be much 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 more to discuss when it comes to diddy next up on the agenda we have latasha scott now straight from the a hold on was uh first to report that Latasha was considering legal action against escape because, as you know, or as you may recall, Latasha and her sister, uh, Tamika, are the sole owners of the escape trademark. Hmm. Now, let me go to Latasha's page real quick. She done scrubbed her whole page. She got her pictures. She looked good, though. Look at Latasha. She looked good. Now, um, you may recall in Queens of R&B, they talked about it, how back when Candy didn't want, you know, the group to continue and they were trying to protect the group's brand and nobody wanted to do anything about the group. And so Ken, um, Latasha and Tamika actually filed for the trademark. So, of course, you know, me being the blogger that I am, I went and, you know, verified it. You know, she does actually own the trademark. And here it is right here. So y'all won't think I'm lying. Hold on. Shout out. Thank you for the super sticker 828, Carolyn. Okay. She actually um, owns the trademark. Hold on. Here is the escape trademark. It was filed January uh, 7th, 2017. It was officially registered July 25th. 2017 and the current owners are Tamika Scott and Latasha Scott and it you know it's on the US Patent and Trademark website okay anybody who want to go see it can go see it okay now since both of them are in ownership of the trademark it has been known throughout the course of this that escape when they use the actual name escape actually has to get permission from both owners now just um what was it the last tour that they were on uh latasha actually they actually asked for her permission hold on let me go straight from the a really quickly because i got all the links over here uh you said no candy okay here it is right here i wrote it on straight from the a i might as well just read it to you um they actually um got permission when they went on that last tour even though she was not on the tour now as you know it's only been a week since they announced that they were going on a new tour with SWV, 
Um, and it was being produced by Mona Scott Young's Mona Me Entertainment, along with Live Nation. There is the picture of all of the ladies with Mona in the in the center, acting like she is, you know, the CEO of Escape at SWV. <laughs> but um, you know, a lot of people were wondering why Latasha wasn't there. Well, apparently now Latasha is speaking through her attorney, Laron Rogers. <sighs> she says that um, Mona Scott Young and Live Nation are interfering with her rights as one half of the trademark owner of the brand. Now, the first letter, which of course I have right here for you. Look, I got the letter. I'm just letting y'all know. I got the letter. I am the only person with the letter. This is exclusive. The letter notes that Scott was completely blindsided by the news that Escape has signed a contract for a nationwide tour without her. Latasha was surprised to learn that Live Nation whom Escape has contracted to perform on numerous occasions, contracted with individuals, and is publicly advertising the Escape Mart to promote a live musical performance for a series of concerts during the Queens of R&B tour without Latasha's consent. In addition to failing to obtain consent, they, you, they, have also failed to even reach out to Latasha to agree on financial terms for use of the mark as well as to discuss her performance. So I don't know, maybe Latasha would have, you know, joined in. Okay. Now, this is what's interesting. Okay. She further notes that Mona Sky Young is totally in on it, being that she, of all people, was well aware of the trademark situation, being that Latasha had to agree to its use in the past. The letter states, Mona Me Entertainment, whom it appears to be a co-promoter of the Queens and R&B tour, has specific knowledge of Latasha's ownership and rights to the mark because Mona Me Entertainment specifically obtained Latasha's consent to use the mark for a television series produced by Mona Me Entertainment, i.e. Latasha and Tamika both had to sign off on it in the past. So why do you think this is any different? Mm. Also, being as though Mona Scott Young also served as escapes management in the past, Latasha feels that the slight was intentional. In the letter, it says, in, a in addition, Mona Scott Young, the principal of Mona Me Entertainment, previously managed the music group Escape. We can come to no other conclusion than to believe Ms. Young and Mona Me's conduct to be intentional and with the specific intent to interfere with the rights of Latasha. Here is the actual letter. Um, the attorney is LaRon E. Rogers of Fox Rothschild. Shout out to Attorney Rogers. Okay. So um listen. <laughs> They said that they that uh, Latasha's attorney is giving Mona Scott Young five days to secure the proper licensing for use of the trademark or, you know, i.e. cut the check, you know, or legal action will pursue. Now, for the record, as you know, as I just showed you, the trademark was secured by both Latasha and her sister Tamika during the time period that Candy was adamant about re not rejoining the group. Since that time, a lot has happened. OK, but you recall Latasha actually took a break from the group. You know, a lot of people say she quit, but Latasha says she took a break. Now, I'm pulling this old article up just to show you. OK, this was in 2022. Latasha taking a break, won't perform in some upcoming shows. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, look, Escape fans started freaking out after noticing a promo for the upcoming tour featuring three ladies, not four. This was in 2022. We're told it's not a sign that the group is splitting up, even if Latasha has chosen to step back. You remember Latasha was working on her gospel album. She didn't say she was quitting forever. So I guess they wanted to just kick her out. I know Candy did. And I know, you know, Tamika is in her feelings about, you know, have been caught in a lie about that $30,000. But I'm digressing. Okay, look, and then uh, after, I guess, Latasha told them the tea, done one or candy or somebody called up there and gave them another update, said another source close to the group tells us Latasha was asked if she wanted to be a part of some upcoming shows and declined. We're told she's given the remaining three girls permission to use the escape name. 
and we'll join them at the Soul Train Awards. So again, this is further proof that she had to give them permission to use the name, even on that last tour. Hmm, why they didn't get it this time? I don't know. Why? What happened? Why everybody on Latasha went candy with her boss itself did the same thing. Y'all don't remember Candy refused to do anything. Candy was too busy, wrapped up in Real Housewives of Atlanta. Candy went on Watch What Happens Live and said she would never reunite with uh with escape and uh, you know everybody was like never is a really harsh word candy and she was like i would never do it and then after jermaine dupree started working on a biopic all of a sudden candy wanted to control the narrative and she came out of the woodwork and said we got to get back together to stop them from doing this now you know i got the receipts for that too hold on let me find it for y'all like this video as y'all get in here y'all know uh -huh. Candy. That's okay. I love going to the archives, honey. Hold on. She said it at the Essence Festival. I was there, honey. Candy admits escape reunited because of an unauthorized biopic. Y'all see this right here? Six Do years ago. Do not promote any name that you like unless you have trademarked it first. Do not say it. Do not hashtag it. Do not say nothing about it. And so you have bought all of the Instagram pages for that name, or not Instagram, but all social media names for that that name. Mm. And straight from the A, keep all the receipts, trade. yeah. Because if you say anything and it starts catching a buzz, or people, or even somebody just see it and say, "Oh, that was dope," they will go and get the social media tags for that name. Meantime, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jezebel. Candy did stop Escape from working now. We, let's not forget that Candy forced them to use Escape 3. Y'all remember? Candy said, if I'm not, if it's not all four of us, it's not Escape. Those were Candy's words. And they agreed. And when Candy did not want to, to tour with them, that it was Tamika, the other Tamika, and Latasha. And they called themselves Escape three even though they own the trademark and legally they could have done it they did it just on the strength of we are a foursome okay let's finish listening to candy saying that they reunited because of this unauthorized they, biopic um, meeting with a friend of ours as a director and ty was like it'll be dope after the new edition movie came out ty was like it'll be dope if you guys had a movie about escape and our friend said they're already doing a movie about escape he was like who's doing a movie about escape he was like he told us the network he's like uh i believe they're really doing it and i was like huh so i had my agent to reach out and sure enough that network was doing it, but we didn't know who was involved yet so i called you know tiny i was told her like yo like somebody's doing a movie about us and um at the same time i guess one of my other group members had caught wind of it so she's calling and at the time we weren't even all of us weren't talking you know we all weren't even really speaking but you know our legacy is that in jeopardy at that moment because you know you feel like well how's somebody just gonna take my life and make a movie about me without my permission and i called our attorney my attorney and he's like yeah they can do that because you're a public figure anybody can make a movie about you and i'm like what wow. so yeah, so we ended up all getting on the same page because, you know, I just can't go that. I can't go out like that. Y'all know Candy don't go like that. I can't. <laughs> the only reason that Candy chose to reunite with her group members is because she didn't want somebody else to do a biopic. Okay, I'm just saying, like, think about it. Um, but yeah, so Latasha is now, you know, uh, telling them they have five days to respond to her request. For damages, either, you know, get the proper licensing or IE pay me or, you know, cease and desist this concert. Now, do y'all think they're going to stop this, this worldwide tour? <laughs> the worldwide. This nationwide tour they got? Let me see. They got a whole bunch of um stops on this tour. Hold on. Let me see. Live Nation. Escape. Let me see who they got. Escape and SWV. They are. Ooh. They're going to be at the Lakewood Amphitheater on July 16th. They're going to be in Las Vegas starting in May. I don't think these are in order. Are these in order? Las Vegas Festival Grounds, 
Toyota Pavilion in California. They're going to be in Vegas on the 29th. Phoenix, Arizona. They got a lot of dates, honey. This is work. Hold on. Let me show you this. This is work, honey. Candy is working. She is back on the stroll. <laughs> She's going to be in Phoenix, Albuquerque, Dallas, Texas, Woodlands, Texas, Arkansas, Alabama, Jacksonville, Tampa. They whole summer is gone. The summer is gone. They're going to be working hard everywhere, all through July, all through August. Look at all these dates. OMG. They, oh, God, I'm tired just reading it. Okay. So, um, yeah, they're doing a little nationwide tour. And so, you know, y'all go get your escape tickets. And I don't know if they're going to have to change the name to Escape 3. But whatever the case uh, it seems like it's going to be three of them performing, but they're, they're going to have to pay for four. <laughs> it's going to be three performing, but they got to pay Latasha, even though she is not there, honey. That, that Listen, Latasha, get, get your coins, honey. Put a one in the chat if you feel like Latasha deserve her coins. Put a five in the chat if you think she don't. I just want to know, did, did Latasha, who is a, a member of Escape, deserve her coins without being advised that they were going on tour and using the name that she secured and made sure that nobody stole? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, one. Oh, everybody said, it. okay. Oh, so you said five. Okay, that's a few fives. I see y'all five. My thing is, if the tables were turned, Y'all know business is business, right? Y'all say that Candy is always about that money, always about her business. If the tables were turned, do you feel like Candy would allow this to go on without having been consulted or told? Let me know. Shout out to Lolo. Thank you, friend. You said they paid Candy when it was three before. Ooh, child. Ooh, okay. Well. Well, in the court of public opinion, it's like cut the check. Jezebel, you are not in the majority, friend. In the court of public opinion, everybody say Latasha deserves her check. And Latasha, you're going to have a good old summer. You're going to be making money and you don't even have to work, honey. Okay. Shout out to LaRon Rogers. Let's see um how Mona Me Entertainment Group and Live Nation respond to these copyright infringement allegations um i'm here for it one way or the other i don't know child. i don't know and listen i told y'all i had heard that uh, a group member from swb had even called latasha because um they said that they thought that latasha and the group had made up and that was one of the reasons she found out about it she didn't even know how nobody in your group not even the manager tells you anything about it that is shady business honey shady shady business meanwhile tamika over there still lying about that thirty thousand dollars. i can't wait till it come out i cannot wait till it comes out speaking of which i just put the link um for y'all to call but i do <laughs> Oh, I, I should say this for Patreon, but I want to read this because I want I want to know what y'all think of this. <laughs> I'm so petty. I want to know what y'all think of this. Okay. Oh, shout out to Christine for the uh cash out. Thank you, friend. I want to know what y'all think of this. <clears throat> y'all recall that um Tamika filed a restraining order against rocky about this stolen money alleged stolen money y'all remember that because uh apparently latasha and rocky was so upset and the mama everybody was so upset because they felt like to uh tamika was lying that apparently candy had coerced her into lying and now she over there she followed the money you know she'd been broke before she'd been kicked out the house before she been homeless before. So Lata uh, Tamika was like, I need this. I need this. I need this. And I'm going to do whatever I can to do it. Then Mona set her up with Method Man to do a little song and all that stuff. Well, she filed this restraining order. And in this restraining order, hold on. In this restraining order, this is what she said. So you tell me what you think of this. I don't know what to think of it, honestly. I make it big. Hold on. I don't know what to think of this. I kind of feel like the way she wrote this, that it's given 
that you know he was mad at her because she lied. But listen, <coughs> y'all see this? I know some y'all already didn't screenshot it. I know, so I just showed y'all just to show y'all I had it. Okay, but listen, listen, listen. He said, "Hold on, let me put it up here. Hold on, put a thing it. I want to read it. Okay." <coughs> I'm so extra. Where'd it go? Oh, okay. My brother-in-law, Edward Bivens, have stolen money from me in 2013, and I forgave him. He continued to steal. And as soon as I exposed his behavior, he sent a threat message to my phone saying he will release naked pictures of me and a sex video I gave to my sister to hold for me when I went, when I went back to get it. She said it was stolen out of her safe. He is known to pull guns on people and brags about it. He's from Chicago and brags about being a part of a gang. He told my sister on national TV that I lied about him, her, stealing my money. And I have to deal with what comes with that, which is a threat. He is a part of gd and i am afraid of what he may i'm sorry her her handwriting is horrible afraid of what he may try to do to me he turned my mom against me and i don't trust him he said if i don't apologize then he's releasing photos and tape i've had several calls from unknown numbers he's trying to scare me and i am afraid No, Shay. I listen, she might have very well been afraid, but she did not get a restraining order. And that was a part of her request for a restraining order. And apparently she was claiming that, you know, he was mad because she lied. OK, and so I don't know. I don't know what to think. Anyway, I, I thought back then, if you go back to my videos and I still feel uh, that, you know, Candy was in on it. Uh, it was it was odd that Uniq, y'all remember Uniq, who claimed that she was in a relationship with uh, Latasha's man and said she was pregnant, and then the baby mysteriously disappeared, and then it come to find out she was friends with Candy's DJ A1, and she had pictures with Candy. And I, it's like, how is it that everything come up? Candy is a part of it. How is that? I don't know. And I do know that Candy uh, does hold grudges. I do know that. Okay, but anyway. Hold on, we have some people in the back. Y'all like this video. Jazabelle, what we gonna do? We gonna curse, we gonna curse each other out. Call in, Jazabelle. Let me know what you think. Hey Mickey, how you doing? Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. These damn Scott sisters. These huh. damn Scott sisters. Ooh, what do you think? I I mean, listen. If she owns the trademark, then yeah, they gotta pay up. Mm. They got. I mean, they've been doing performances, the three of them, but using the name. So I'm assuming mm. they've been paying her, because all of that transpired like what two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if y'all are going on tour, and y'all are getting on back on this TV show, yeah, I want my money. Mm. It's that simple. Because clearly they can't work together. There's been a dark cloud following them for a very long time. They have deep rooted issues that they just can't seem to get over. So yeah, pay her. Mm. You know, and then she's yeah, it's like what you said, she's gonna have just a cut really the check good, and call it a day, right? Really good summer. She's gonna okay. have a really, really good summer. And also, Candy, when they wanted to make music, said, listen, we can perform together, but I'm not going to make new music with y'all. So y'all could change the name and it's going to be Escape 3 and y'all can do y'all thing. So what is Candy having demands? It's okay. It's Escape 3. <laughs> but when Tasha... When she has all of, you know, when she doesn't want to be involved, it's escape. Like, I don't know. I feel like can't. Oh, the candy man. I can't. Uh -uh. 
It's a mm-hmm. mess, ain't it? Is it? It is a mess. It. But I thought they were smarter than that, though. They didn't like think it through. Or do you think that they're gonna do this because there was so much drama the last time, and they were trending, and everybody was talking about them? Like, okay, let's piss her off so we can get this show going, this tour going. You know, like let's, you know, because last time it was a media frenzy. I mean, the YouTube videos, the Instagram lives, Candy's calling into the radio station. Like it was a mess. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's like, okay, like let's get this. all of their tours have been a mess. Like, let's not forget they first tour when Candy first rejoined the group because, you know, when she went to Essence and it said yeah. that clip that I showed y'all. Y'all remember when everybody had their own bus? Yeah. I remember you played that video. <laughs> and it's you like... Know, I just pulled it back up again. Ciao. Hey, the governor. Look, we can sing we'll together, but we show. can't all ride together. Y'all remember this? Shell, <laughs> what's up? Well, apparently she is not. Cue the drum roll. All right, open your boxes. Open your boxes. One, two, three. You get a bus. You get a bus. You get a bus. You get a bus. Everybody gets a bus. You get a bus. You get a bus. Everybody gets a bus. Candy has her bus. Tiny and Zamik have their bus. And of course, it wouldn't be an official tour without an official escape bus. While Tiny has her own bus, of course, she's also featured on the escape bus. However, Candy is noticeably absent from the group photo. (laughs) (laughs) They are doing the music. The three of them are. Yes. Okay. Yes. And is that, is it under the name Escape? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, we are escape. Okay. Right. We are okay. Escape. Okay. Remember, you candy, didn't want music. them using it. Already started recording. Yes. Okay. Anyway, I, you know, I had to go yes. to the archives and remind y'all how uh, how candy was back then. Yeah, and now because she's not on Roba no more. She yeah, she needs that money. You know what I'm saying? She was used to that seven figure check, that guaranteed seven figure check from Roa, and now that that money ain't coming in yet. We're going back on tour. We're gonna be back on this show. I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta make money. It is what it is. You know, and Tamika, she's just you know, she's just happy to be around, child. Yes. She just happy to be around. And to be honest, I think even Tiny's happy to be around because you think they, so? Tiny they really try, don't have to work. But they try to cancel I too mean, I, Tiny now. They try to cancel them. So it might not be the money, but to be back on TV, to have like, you know, like, oh, she's performing again. She's you know, I mean, they've had their fair share of negative press and accusations mm-hmm. and allegations and stuff like that. So, yeah, she might not. I mean, she says she got five ho- five different blenders and five different houses. So it may not be the money, but to be in the good graces of the public and, you know, the media and stuff like that. Yeah. Why not? Okay. okay. But, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, they got to pay her. They definitely have to pay her. What do you think, the governor? Um, I somewhat <laughs> agree, but then somewhat disagree. Um, okay. Really, I mean, I see this right here, uh, what the last call of the girls are saying. I don't really think it's a money thing for Candy. I mean, come on, we do, let's just be honest. Candy got, Candy got more money than she can spend. You know what I'm saying? You don't know that? How but, you know but, that? Hold on, let me finish, Michelle. Okay, I'm sorry. But I think I will agree with this. I think it's, I don't think it's a money thing, but I do think it's a control thing. You know what I'm saying? Is that, Mm -hmm. you know, like that person, they always got to win. They always got to be first place. They always got to be top tier. They always, you know what I'm saying? Things got to go by their terms or or it just ain't going to go at all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
And I do think that um, Candy does deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Is that she she always wants to win? She's um, very competitive. It, you, right. She's very competitive. And even when you go back to the early days of Escape, you know, Candy. I mean, let's be honest. You got to be honest, Candy. Candy and Tiny were the breakout stars of Escape. You know what I'm saying? Um, meaning far as dealing with songwriting and 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 the business that they do. And you know, Latasha and Tamika, they just they were not as successful. You know what I'm saying? They were well, successful. They, they were glorified by reality TV. Well, I'm saying they were successful, but they wasn't as successful as Candy and Tiny. Yeah, so they were the songwriters, gets... but then Tiny right. got with Tia, and Tia was one of the hottest rappers okay, for a while. But either, right, either way, either way, she made she made her move, right? And so sometimes that can draw resentment, you know what I'm saying? Even when Tasha's first album came out, and it was a flop, and Candy's first album, or whatever it was, came out back in the day, and it was successful, and then, you know, it, it's just a lot of what I'm saying, I'm not disagreeing with you, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying these are like some of the facts that led to unforgiveness. And it's deep rooted yeah. to the point where, like, as Michelle was saying, they can't, when you can't sit down and break bread together and make money together and put your differences aside, there there is a deep rooted issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Beyond the songs and beyond who singing lead and all this other stuff to where you know what let's sit down and talk about this where uh we can't even we, we're rehashing stuff uh what we feel about each other from over 20 years ago yeah. and we still haven't gotten over it yet and and what it is is this is this it's destroying the look of the band because you got three that get along and they're willing to go out to make this money. And then you got one that, and really, I think. Tasha's but that one, like that one, that three and one, it switches with the it weather. Like it used yeah. to be, right. it was uh, Tamika, Tamika, and Latasha. And Candy was the one that wasn't working with them. But you know and where the heart, the heart. Back and got everybody on her side, then it was let's ice out Latasha. That's how I see it. Okay. But the heart of the deep heart root of the issue is with Tasha and Candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you can take you can really Tamika and Tiny, you can really remove them out of that situation. You know, you got two sisters um, going back. That's that's family. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have that. You let bygones be bygones and you move on. But it seemed like for the last past 20, 30 years with this same band, it, it, it's been Tiny and it's been Tasha, uh, where they just can't get over uh, the difference. The difference, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, if I'm in a group like that, if I was in a group, you know what I'm saying? Look, I don't care who's singing lead on these records. Do I get a check? I get a check too. Okay, well you you, you can sing lead all you want. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I'll be mm -hmm. back up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go get this paper, go on tour, then go somewhere and sit down. You know what I'm saying? And they just cannot get it together. You know, hmm. over the, I mean when you talk I'm, I'm Michelle, think about it. What is the deep rooted issue where you see they just can't get over? You can't even explain it to yourself. I, I don't know. I, it, 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 it all stems from that situation with Candy sleeping with Jermaine Dupree. I was just and she about did. to say that. I was just about to say that. And she did. Okay, you know what I mean? And if you, you know that, that I Candy. feel like that put a dent in the group because then Candy started getting favorable treatment because she was busting it wide open after studio session. Let me stop. But you know what I mean? Like she was getting favorable treatment. Well, the thing is, but then eventually that switch with Tasha, it really and truly, I can't even say who the lead singer is because to me, they all play they, they play their part. That whoever Candy was sleeping with, look. Do I need to? I mean, really, when you think about it, do I really need to let that interfere with that with me getting my money? 
Do I really care? Was yeah, I even I, there? I, I mean, you really think me. about it. Do you really even care? Like I she could have been sleeping with Bill Clinton. I don't I care. Hear you, but people, there are some people who hold grudges, and we all know that Candy is one of them. Think about how she's treated Pedro all these years. It's the same thing. She just, that's just her personality. She holds grudges. Right. And well, you know, I can't see that, that she has does. To win. You know, it's, it's, it's sad that, you know, I mean, even with them, them having an example there, uh, seeing what SWV went through and their breakup and how they were able to come back together, reunite, put their differences aside, and going out there to get this money. And they keep it together as sisters. I was looking at their, um, their verses and the other night, just looking at certain parts of it. And uh, when they were performing anything, and you can see the love and unity with SWV, how their performance kind of like was together. They, mm -hmm. they, you know, they, 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 they rock together. You know what I'm saying? And they know, you know, when you guys in mind, like, you know, if they can get over what they've been through, I can get over what I've been, what we, what we going through. You're right. You're right. You know? but, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Hey, Courtney, how you doing? I think your mic is muted. Hey, Michelle, can you hear me? Yes, how you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me up. I just want to get up here and say, first I want to start off and say, Escape is my all-time favorite group. So I follow them from forever. I love oh. them. I love them collectively as a group. Um, but I do want to say, <laughs> to say you, you my least favorite, and I never really cared for her on Housewives. Like, I don't dislike Candy, but she's just never been a favorite of mine. However, mm -hmm. Never work with Tasha again. I would never. Tasha oh. used to be my favorite because of her voice in the group, as far as the group. Tiny is kind of my favorite, but Tasha used to be like as far as singing. But mm -hmm. Tasha show Tasha each time, and the same things we say for Candy, I'm trying not to show a bias because, like I said, this is my favorite group. The same things that we could say for Candy, we could say for Tasha. And I'm just mm -hmm. trying to go up here to kind of even it out. Tasha, each time she thought she was about to be solo, Tasha got that diva attitude. And it True. was group and whatever, whatever they got going on. I'm I'm all about me right now. I gotta get this solo grind. And then each time it falls flat, then it's something back with escape. Let me just like y'all say, okay, Candy lost housewife. Now she running back. Okay, when Tasha's solo projects don't work out, she'd be ready to I'm taking some type of control. That man she has is no good. He's too involved and keeps her in mess. Tasha has a very much diva attitude. Yes, she has a beautiful voice. Yes, she carried a lot of those songs. Yes, she is pivotal in that group. But that diva attitude, baby, it's been 30 years. Get it together. Y'all, all of them got to get it together at this point. Like, stop with that diva. I'm I'm the one y'all came to see who y'all want to see me right. or Candy and get it together as a group and go mm -hmm. on that stage and sing the songs for the fans. If y'all need four buses to get the job done, get on them four buses, get up there and sing, get off the stage, go back on your bus, get your zen, and leave it alone. Like y'all too grown. Like after 30 years, it should it should not be that. It should not right. still be who is the lead. We still got this problem. It should y'all should have settled this by now. And Tasha, okay, I just so won't work so, wait, wait, wait. So they haven't settled it. So like the people saying, okay, what does this have to do with them not not telling her they were using the name or not getting? Then change. I can I can go for that. If Candy, when they had to use the Escape Three name, then I can go for that since. That was a stipulation and something Candy was vocal about. Then honor that. Change the name. I don't care if they go up there, Candy, Tamika, and uh, Candy, Tamika, and Tamika. They mm. still gonna sing the same songs. I wouldn't care what they right. call themselves. We know who they are. We know what's going on. Like change the name. If that's a problem, change the name. That's 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 another petty issue. That shows how petty they are. Like just let the name I don't go. I want to just see three. This is like any other group. If you know, like new edition, anybody. I want to see all of them. I don't want to. I want to see. see I would love. This is my favorite group, Michelle. This <laughs> is my favorite group. I would love nothing more to see them bury the hatchet and stop attaching drama to their legacy. I would love nothing more than that. But Candy and Tasha both have to let their egos die. Like they have to both go through an ego death because can, can I y'all have. Excuse me. 
I want to say something on piggyback on what you were saying. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I think that one of the, the biggest issues is that like what you were saying earlier is is with Rocky. They they need they need to keep Rocky out of the business. You know what I'm saying? And just them handle their business. You know, the four of them, one thing about them, the four of them blend. And and each one will play their play their part. And Escape is one of my favorite groups as well. And and each each one will play their part. But um, the thing is, in fact, what you say was like some people are saying that Rocky is a problem, and then other people are saying that Mona Scott Young is the problem. That would you know not. That's I, mean? a, I agree with that. They get rid of Rocky. I ride back with Tasha, and be on <laughs> Tasha's side <laughs> completely. But Rocky got to go because Rocky, you oh. just want that money to trick off and do what you want to do. And Tasha really is the talent. Like, let's be clear. Let's be for real. Tasha's voice is she's the talent. I, not to take away from any other women, because like I said, I love all of them. I, I do. I think all of them bring something unique. But Rocky got to go. Rocky go. Tasha will have an army behind her. It's just that husband and his decision making. And he's too involved that he seems to c- cause a lot of the division. Hold on. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, keep talking. <laughs> go ahead. Um... I, I love Escape, though. That's it. Her Man, husband just, always gave me like Kevin Hunter vibes. He does. He gives Kevin, Kevin Hunter. Hunter. He For gives sure. Kevin. He knows that the wife is talented, and he's a little overzealous, like with as far as the money. And it's nothing wrong with recognizing her talent and wanting her to be the best. But it's just he a little. Oh, he a little. But the, the sad part about it is that is that you cannot. Tell her that he does any wrong. That that's the sad part. When when a woman believe, I'm not just say when a woman believe everything that a man tells her. You know what I'm saying? Now these are your childhood friends. Y'all grew up together, and if you're telling me we've been in this group before, you know, you know, we've been in this think- group before you. Uh-huh. I don't think I don't think Candy and Tasha never got along though. Yeah, but I they never got along. But I feel like at this age, like even if I don't get along with somebody, I know how to move accordingly. Like I'm 38; True. they're a little bit older than me. I know how to move. I don't like you, but listen, I ain't, to get this money, mm-hmm. we we just gonna move accordingly. It don't have to be, you know. I, they they gotta right. learn but something. What, but what if you like you in a group? Okay, and y'all sitting down, y'all handling business, right? And then you we come together as a group, we're handling business. You're showing me receipts uh where um Rocky's getting these underhanded deals behind the group. Um back, okay, then me and you know, then if I'm Tasha, me and Rocky gonna have a problem. You I don't think saying? so because she's a wife. So she's gonna take her, she's gonna have her husband back. Okay. Hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> I appreciate y'all holding it down for me. I have somebody who wanna talk, but he don't want to talk with all y'all on here. So I'm gonna put y'all in the back for a minute, okay? Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I have Rocky Bivens on the line. What up, Michelle? How you doing, Rocky? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm good. Can y'all hear him? Okay. They said it's another yeah. little birdie. <laughs> I said all the little birdies been calling me now. <laughs> What's up, Rocky? Man, nothing much, man. I it's funny, you know, I hadn't talked to nobody in a year since all this stuff happened. But it's so funny to hear all these people's opinions and judgments about me and my wife. So I just called to set the record straight. You know, uh we not talking and we haven't been talking because we expected people to really use common sense. Uh-huh. Just pay attention. You know, you watch a TV show and everybody judged me and Tasha based off of what they saw. Mm-hmm. But it was the end of it. You know, what person is going to film a TV show and act like a diva? I've been married to Tasha for 28 years. One of the best people in this world. Regardless of what people think about me and they you know, thoughts of chicks or uh, me being too much in the business. I've been doing music 
and the entertainment manager for 30 years for some of the hottest artists. People don't even know I signed or help get their deals. Whether it was Tamar, Britney Spears, Trey Song, Chef Tone, No I Do. My list go on and on about being a music industry executive. Mm -hmm. So me just being a husband, running around, following behind Tasha, I was the one that was keeping Escape together as a whole. I mean, because they were all my sisters. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, the TV show changed that perception of me and Tasha. And that's cool. People don't, you know, everybody need a villain. I'm here to set the record straight, especially to the young lady talking about if she get rid of Rocky, I'll roll back with her. You don't even know me. You don't even know you don't even know my family. All you're going off of is what you're hearing and what you're seeing. It's funny how people would judge Tasha and she ain't had a chance to have a voice. She hasn't said nothing bad about nobody. Nobody. Matter of fact, she didn't even put this out. That people talking about. Now she want to run back to escape. She's a failure. Her solo prize. She always wanted to go solo. Hey, listen, since y'all don't know something, I'm going to explain it. And, you know, people still going to be like, oh, shut up, Rocky. You think all that? First of all, I'm not the one to play with. But that's cool. At the end of the day, Tasha never, ever did anything to say, I want to be out of escape. If y'all want to know the truth about the first time she wanted to do a solo project, it was a group argument. And they all have problems internally, and I'll let them explain that so then people won't take my words and run with it. Bottom line, she never just said, forget y'all. Everybody gonna have arguments and disagreements. They, you know, they sisters. So it, unfortunately, they famous and they went public and people think Tasha's just a diva. She's not a diva. Even when she did this gospel album, it don't make people say, now why everybody going against her? And and when she just want to do a gospel album, she did a gospel album so she wouldn't, in a few with the R&B stuff that they were doing so she could stay a part of the group and hopefully everybody support her. Hmm. Right now, everybody telling her she's being petty because she wants, they're using the name. No. Tasha never got a phone call for the tour. All you smart people, all you people who got something to say, she, she would she would have went on the tour and she still will go on the tour. How would you feel if you build something for 30 years? People dog you out. You don't have a voice, accuse you or something on TV, and everybody just slander you like you're a diva. And then a tour just pop up, and you never been called or asked or anything. Also, now she want to run back to escape. Now Rocky think he all that and get rid of him. Man, I've been married to my wife 28 years, and she's happy and I'm happy. We have one son. I got one child, despite the contrary of all the other stuff y'all heard. One son. We have one son. Period. I have one child on this whole earth. So what people need to stop doing is judging her. Y'all can say what y'all want about me. Just stop judging her. Give her a chance to tell her truth. All they going off of is what somebody else said, what somebody else edited, and how the picture was painted on a network that she, Tasha, never wanted to do that TV show. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if everybody ganged up on you and accused you of something, but everything they showed never show you reprimanding them? Has Tasha been seen on that show saying, y'all wrong for saying this? And what money did I take? Did they put the camera on her when they asked that question? No. All they did was show Tasha clips of Tasha with facial expressions making her seem like a diva. If the young lady who was talking ever met Tasha, which she probably has or whatever she said, get rid of Rocky, she'll know Tasha ain't no diva. Tasha not being petty. I don't think, well, I can't say I don't think none of the other girls being petty, but I'm not speaking on them. I'm, all I'm saying is people need to stop coming at Tasha. You can come at me all you want to. Y'all don't want to smoke with me. So all you little smart, but even the dude talking. Dude, you don't know me, quit talking about me, because if you saw me in person, you wouldn't see it. Well, and if you could, to be fair, what? I give everybody the opportunity to, for their opinion, so you shouldn't get offended. Oh, yeah. When people I'm just, not offended. Okay. But, but you know, look, we was quiet for a whole year. Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing. I, I, I'm i on this phone now because I ain't playing no more. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not playing no more. I'm not going to be quiet. Now, we didn't say nothing because it's like, look, why you got to defend any lie? If you didn't do it, just be quiet. So I was quiet. But I think people take that for weakness. Or they think we think we all that. Hey, man, we cool. We love we love life. We love people. But the one thing people are not going to do is keep disrespecting us. And if they feel like they want to, then that's on them. But we're not disrespecting nobody. Okay. So at the end of the day, just give Tasha her fair chance of, of, of whatever it is. At the end of the day, she she's never said nothing about nobody. She's never talked about them. And if she did, if they did have arguments or, or concerns about whatever... That's between them, but she don't hate them. After everything that was done to her or said about her, 
Yeah, Tasha has some things she probably should have done different with the group, with her sister, with the rest of the girls. Yes. And they do need to fix it. And escape is not escape without all four of them. I said that from the beginning. Period. I don't even dislike them for the things that were said and done about me. The only thing that I don't like is people keep attacking her, accusing her, talking about she thinks she's a diva, she thinks she all that, and she's such a failure. Everybody else can do what they want to do outside the group, and everybody champion it. She just loves to sing. So if she want to do an album, so she can't do an album outside of skate. She can't do an album outside of She didn't even get a fair chance to put out a gospel album. You know why? Because the TV show slandered her right when the album came out. Everybody dogged out, so now she's a failure. But people love her voice. And people are so fickle and funny in this industry that they should not judge based upon, you know, somebody else's uh, agenda. That's all I'm saying. Okay. But people gonna do what they gotta do. I'm not tripping on nobody, but me listening. So I'm gonna get rid of Rocky. Get too much in the business. I'm a business man. Y'all might want to do a little more research just about what it is I do and what I've done. That's all. I'm not in escape business. I'm not in the business now. Whatever she decide to do, if she go on the road or whatever, Tasha ain't telling them to stop no tour. Tasha ain't saying y'all better put me on the tour or else. She's not saying anything. All she's saying is we built a business together. She did not want to go on the road at that time with a promoter that threatened my life. Not because she was worried about what the promoter was going to do to me. She may have been worried about what was going to happen anyway, just any violence for anybody. So she said, I'm not going in that situation. She never left the group. So how would you feel if you say I'm a part of a group? Everybody got something to say about me. They beat me up. I go about my business. Everybody say I'm a failure. Cool. I'm living my life. And then I look up and it's a tour on the business I built, and I ain't even get a phone call. Yeah, Nobody asked. And I said the same thing. If the tables were turned, if it was candy on, on the opposite end and things were different, it would be the same situation. Y'all would be getting an attorney letter, letter from Candy's attorney. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so why but, is it a problem but, if it's but, Latasha? But here's, the thing. here's the thing. And we wouldn't even get a letter from Candy's attorney because Candy signed the leaving member and noticed she's not officially in escape in 1998. It's only the three girls that's in escape. And nonetheless, Tasha did not have to name the group Escape 3 because her sister owned the trademark. She did it out of respect for the fans, saying we're not Escape without all four of us. So we'll call ourselves Escape 3. I know. I was there. I was a part of it. It's called business. But it's also called respect. She did it for the respect for the fans. But she won't get credit for that. Everybody will say, oh, he wanted to bear her, tell him, shut him, whatever they got to say. No, y'all, I'm just telling y'all the truth. I'm not upset. I'm just telling y'all the truth. I'm not pleading for nothing. I'm not trying to prove nothing to nobody. I'm just speaking the truth and the facts. People should just stop coming at her when they don't know. If they like a voice, they like a voice. If they like the group, they like the group. I like the group, all four of them. They can hate me. But what they did in the past and what they did for music and the culture, nobody has done that. You know, we got several girl groups like SWV. They, they're my sisters. But at the end of the day, this is nonsense. And they are too old. And they shouldn't be arguing. And they should get along. I hate that the sisters are... I, I, you know, went through what they went through. I didn't provoke that, whether people believe it or not. And whatever our family issues is, man, we'll keep that in the family. I have nothing bad to say about the speaker. As much as she said about me, I, have not, I love her. How about that? I don't dislike her husband. I don't dislike her. I don't dislike nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm past that. I hope they do. If nothing else, just all say they love each other. And if, if they don't have to work at all, or if they do work. I have nothing to do with it. Whatever she decides to do, she I support her 100%. But I ain't going to let nobody come at her. I ain't going to let nobody do nothing to her. And that I'm going to stand on. Okay. So I just wanted to speak my truth. Please. Y'all can hate me. Y'all can not like me. Y'all can say, you know, he ain't nothing. Forget him. Whatever. Hey, y'all, y'all entitled to that. But if you knew me, you would know I'm a real one. And if you knew me, you know I ain't on the BS. And if you knew me, I'm not in the escape business. I was, but I'm not. So don't hate me, and anything I can do to help this get further, I will. So, Michelle, you know, I just had to shout you out because, you know what I'm saying, you keep it real, you know, you keep it you keep it straight, and it's all good. Okay. Well, I appreciate you. And next time, yeah. I want Latasha on the line. Hey, well, I know, you know she's being she... silent right now because, you know, I've been, I've been harassing her. Man, people, yeah, you have, but people just come out of somewhere. She... Whatever she say, they gonna say you lying, you you stupid. This and that. Don't nobody wanna hear that. You know that girl ain't never been in no mess. She like, man, that's the worst thing that. I, 
ever happened to me. So, you know, people don't even know what she go through mentally just dealing with this. You know, if she say, I didn't do it, you a lie. You, you know, this, this, and so she just tried, you know, just live her life. She in a good place. You know what I'm saying? So she just been chilling. All right. Okay. But I tell her though, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely tell her for sure. All right. Well, thank you for calling in. I appreciate it. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, you know, I just want the blogs don't take all this stuff along with it and spew my words, but you know, I just and speak. Well, it's always a good it. thing to, to hear your side. Like you know, it doesn't matter if people don't believe you or not, but it's just always good to, you know, to let you say your piece and, and just move on. You know, everybody ain't gonna believe you, everybody ain't gonna like you, but you know what the truth is and just stand on it. Yeah, yeah. No, nah. but hopefully they work it out if they don't. You know, hey, she wanna go. So if they call them, they, they can figure it out. It ain't my business, but I support them. So, you know, how this all is. We don't know how that stuff got out there. I don't know how you got it. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna, you know, it's all good. I ain't got nothing to say, but you know, it's all good. You all know right. what I'm saying? All right. Well, I okay. appreciate it. All right, bye. Whew. All right. A shout out to Rocky Bivens for calling in. Okay, that was the husband of Latasha. Scott. Ciao. She, he read y'all. Ciao. Bad. Bad. I always I, say I, you I got it. It's great business. Now listen, I'm not going to let y'all drag him. No, we going no, no. to end on a high note because he I didn't say wanna, anything negative. I don't want to drag him, but he was pissed with me. He I want pissed. to say this is his life. I respect <laughs> what he said. This is his life. Bottom line, this is Natasha life. So I can't get mm-hmm. mad at nothing he said to defend himself and his wife because it's not my life. I'm just commenting. I'm on the outside looking in. I'm mature enough to understand that. So I, mm-hmm. I don't have any dragging for him. I've made a little few jokes in the chat, but I don't have no dragging for him speaking up for his life. He yeah. did misinterpret some things. I never said Tasha was a failure. I said she had two solo albums. Facts are facts. They did One didn't come out and one didn't do well. But I did say Tasha has the voice. Tasha has the, she has the best voice in Escape, in my opinion. She does, Mm -hmm. she has that in factor. I would like to see all of them together. But Tasha does come off as a diva. That's my opinion. I stand on everything I said. I feel, I still feel like even with him, with his stance, if he was to back off and let those four women talk, I feel like they could come with with I, if they could just air out their issues. I still stand on everything I said, but I I don't have any rebuttal like disrespectfully because like I said that is his life, his wife. I I would want my husband to get on and defend me. You know what I mean? Like they're one. So I don't and I don't hate Tasha. I don't I think that's being misconstrued in what I'm saying. I already came up here and said uh Candy was not my favorite she i didn't really care for her housewife she was kind of boring i don't hate her she just comes from my favorite group but as far as like the group in itself i think both those two because those are the two that really have the issue have to sit down and hash it out and let the egos die so that the group can live because their legacy they have torn up their legacy in the last few years and this is coming from like their number one fan okay well, I appreciate Courtney, Mickey. Let me drop y'all off and get the rest of these people in the back so I can get okay, out of here. Michelle, thank you. I appreciate Have a good night. Both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Cope. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, somebody hung up. Hey, Cope. Hey, Mr. Woods. What's Hello. going on? How are you, Michelle? I'm good. Who is Cope? Don't Jazz worry about it. Oh, yes, ma'am. Let's go. What you so, got to say? I'm going to let you nothing, go first. Nothing. It's just that I, I just feel like a lot of that was projection because nobody was talking bad about Tasha. They were talking bad about Rocky. So well, Rocky don't be, and Tasha are one. They are well, no, they are not. Don't call in being disingenuous. They are husband and wife, and, 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 and no. she probably feels away when y'all talk about no. her husband. Her husband feels away when y'all talking, talk about her. Don't start. Don't start, Jasmine. I'm just saying, I'm, you was in it. Well, you was in the comments talking about bye and all this, that, and the third, and yes, everything like that. Know. Like y'all, y'all have no grace and mercy at all for any type of situation. And yes, if there's one do. thing about it, and two things for sure. If we play this thing back and anything like that, if the shoe was only other foot, Jazzville, the way you go hard for Candy, 
Candy would be just as bad. And you still don't want that lady to be accountable for the mess that she started. You want to mm. sit up here, y'all want to sit up here and try to blame this man about something that was not created by him. Didn't Mona mm. Scott have something to do with this drama? Didn't Candy have something to do with the, the sisters turning on each other? So it's mm. okay for them to come out and, and do this tour and, and bow down on bend the knees whenever Candy say, well, I'm going to sign over my rights to the group. And then y'all have to be escape three and then y'all can perform. So then when the money is low and the budget is low coming out of the Tucker Burris household, then it's something to say. So the thing about it is y'all got to give that man grace and mercy because he's swinging for his wife. That lady has not said anything bad at all about none of those three women at all. Even when they dragged her on national television, people in the comments on her album flop, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, this, that, and the third, or whatever like that. And again, this is what's wrong with girl groups. Ego and cattiness is what got them there. Not Rocky. And y'all got to be honest about that. Am I right or am I wrong? You're wrong. Right. So You're why right. do we have to be honest about that? But you can't be honest about the things that we're saying. Okay. What are y'all saying? That he what, what oh, that he got in a fight? They, they, oh, oh. They, don't, they don't deal in facts and receipts. They just deal in emotions. No, Michelle, you right. have to finagle right. receipts because you sit up there talking about, oh, escape that they all tour bus. Escape. What group, what quartet don't? Girls. When <laughs> yeah, you go back to 1998, we listen, we over that. I just pulled that oh, up as, over as, it because I'm telling the truth. No, no okay. but I just pulled that up as an example of what was going on back then. We're talking about now. I'm using that as an example to prove how y'all like to nitpick about little things that don't matter, just like y'all like to nitpick about everything that he does. It's tip for tap, boo. Well, you're a man, so I wouldn't expect anything. Uh, else ma'am, right. don't get, don't do that. So don't you, do that. You, you understand? Don't huh? do that. No. Can I go ahead and I, say I, something real quick? I understand I the group. Um. So I, I just don't understand if they're having all these issues with Rocky, doing like behind the door dealings and stuff like that. Um. You know, from the from the reality show, why aren't they taking him to court for that? So that way he could be removed as part of Tasha's management. Like, I, I just don't understand, like, as grown women, how you guys cannot unite. And I'm sorry, but Tasha should learn, have learned from Mary J. Blige, Wendy William, and her husband's best friend was Wendy's husband, too. So she should be side-eyeing him also on that. Like, you should learn about when your husband doesn't, wasn't, like you should have your husband as your manager because it, when things happen, it just ends up being ugly. Like we've seen so many celebrities whose husbands been their managers, and their divorce just ends up really messy and nasty. Oh, we're talking I'm about not divorce? saying she's gonna divorce well, him, but, but her situation is different. They've been together 28 years husband. and not no 10 years from Mary J. Blige and the other yeah. lady. So you can't even put them in the same category as yeah, other. And how did we start with dragging him for being her manager when we talking about them using the trademark without her permission? And her exactly. Y'all right. went all the way around, around the mulberry bush. <laughs> it's like y'all just going it's out good. on like. It's like they're trying I mean, to find anything know, just to bring Tasha no, down and her husband down. Just to just take this to No, y'all did that. Just just sue, just sue each other. Just sue, 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 so we can just see it on the reality show. That's all. Okay? And then we'll find out who's gonna who's telling the truth. You will never I'm find out who's to. telling the truth. It's a reality show and it's scripted. So how would you oh. find out who's telling the truth? None of y'all want to ever listen to what anyone has to say. That man just came on and just said a couple of things about his wife and leave his wife and alone didn't until you get to know him. And he didn't say anything back. Exactly. He said, if you want to talk about me, come for me, but just leave my wife alone. None of y'all don't know her. Mush your mouth on her until y'all can see. From Fulton County. I'm waiting for Michelle just to pull, pull the court docs from Fulton County because Fulton County tells you everybody's business. What court docs? Yeah, about what? <laughs> when about they what? Sue each other. Where you at? That's all I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to sue. That's Good it. Job. All right. So that's y'all went from suing to this lady just talking about one little thing. Now you're talking about suing and the man crazy because he want to talk about his wife and take up for his wife. I don't understand black women these days Ooh. that y'all have great issues with black what men. Is about black women. 
Well, you said I was. No, I'm in, just so interjecting that point well, right there because that's right? been the whole point all this time. Every time Rocky speaks up for his wife, y'all got an issue. Oh, leave him alone. Oh, get a divorce. Why every time somebody go through something, y'all want them to get a divorce? That's 28 years. Y'all probably got one year knowing these people from reality shows and clicks and views or what have you like that. Y'all don't know they like. Y'all never been made with them. Y'all never sat at the table with them and broke bread. Sometimes we need to stop speaking so negative on people. Mm. Who is Candy Eater? But did y'all just do the same thing with Candy? Candy I can hear my mouth say nothing bad about Candy. Good night. Good night. Y'all some hypocrites. Good night. Good night. And so are you. So are you. Cope. (laughs) (laughs) So are the Cope. Yeah, Cope. That's bad. I can't believe you could hang. Hey, she MJ. Hang. Hey, Candy Eater. It's me, Sierra. Hey, Sierra. Oh, how you doing, Michelle? I'm, okay. Who I feel safe now, Michelle. It's just like <laughs> so, uh, uh, okay. Can can we wrap this up? Because <laughs> oh no, no. Listen, this is all I was saying, and, and my point is, it's good that he came up here. Like Rocky is like one of those type of people that you know he's going to defend his wife, but at the end of the day. If we go back and look at all of these girl girl groups, except with the exception of a few, all of them have broke up about stuff like this. You feel what I'm saying? Like to where it's an ego thing. And when you try to move ahead and you leave somebody out, it comes off very, it, it, come, it looks bad. You know, you look at people that have lost members in a group like TLC and 702 and all these different stuff. They, you know what I'm saying? Or these mm-hmm. other girl groups that have broke up. Look at what happened to Invo. Invo went through the same exact thing that Escape is going through right now. The other two, Sue, Don, and uh, the other lady, and they can't even use the name. You see what I'm saying? Because they're not mm-hmm. thinking about the talent and the legacy that they have. They're thinking about it from a monetary value, and they're thinking about it from an ego standpoint. And it had nothing to do with what Rocky came up here and said. So that's all I'm saying is that it's not always a man's fault. If that man is saying, I have nothing to do with this, just just make it about the girls. That's what he's saying. Sit down. Mm-hmm. Even Mona Scott said that they were dysfunctional. It ain't got yeah. nothing to do with him. Yeah. That's all I was saying. And what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, excuse me if I spoke on women business, but you know, hey, you, I'm a you woman. Just I'm a woman. Is, right? I'm Let's wrap it up. Listen, I want to head over to uh to uh Patreon because I want to read these witness witness state statements from Simon and Portia's uh thing because oh. I didn't want to do a whole show on that. So I wanted to do that on Patreon tonight. Okay, so good. I want to go ahead and wrap this up. So y'all want to I want Lola to get her point across and, and okay, her. I'm gonna be quiet. Yeah, I, I think on Patreon, I'm up tonight, Michelle. Good to okay. see you. Oh, I'm good too. I'll go on Patreon too, and I can talk over there as well. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Appreciate you. Well, it says candy ender, not eater. I'm not about to eat her. I'm oh, woman ender. Eat. Okay, my bad. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say something real quick. This is all of Candy's fault. Candy has cultivated a very ghetto fan base, a ghetto fan base that fails at critical thinking. A lot of them are not smart enough to, you know, think beyond what they tell her. It's almost like a cult. So I just had to say that and make that point known because Candy really is some of the comments that she's made recently, like the last thing that she said on the on the Tamron Hall, Hall show. I just feel right. like she's very nasty. She is very disgusting and nasty, and no group will ever thrive with her at the helm. Um, And that's just my opinion. Michelle didn't say it. I said it. Don't be mad at Michelle. That's disgusting Um, and nasty. That's that's how I feel. Everything was cool (laughs) when it was Escape 3, and it was Latosha and uh, Tamika and Tiny. Everything was, there was no problems. Candy comes back because the housewife's check got smaller, and now it's an issue. Mm. All roads lead back to Candy. I love you, Michelle. Hearts for uh, Mama Brown. Right. See y'all over there. Thank right, you. Bye. Bye. Ooh, child. Y'all want me out with this candy and the escape stuff. Child, it's a mess. And if you just get in here, you missed all the other things. We talked about Nene and Carlos, you know, the blogger Carlos and, and Nene. We talked about what they're working on. You have to rewind to see that. We talked about the status of Kenya Moore hair spot even after her. Uh, open house. We talked about that. We talked about Sheree's new face. We talked about Diddy and we talked about Escape. So we talked about a lot of things uh, during this almost two hour live. Um, the reason why I did, I wanted to do a separate live on Portia and Simon because every live that I've done probably this past week or so has been about Portia and Simon. 
So I just wanted to leave, give them a break for now because I know they have court tomorrow. Um, and I know we are gonna talk about that as well, but I do have some witness statements that were filed today that I want to read a dramatic reading from these witness statements that saw what was going on in that house. One of them is the nanny slash housekeeper and the other one is Simon's security detail, honey. Mm -hmm. So um, head on over to Patreon and we will read both of those tonight okay and uh if you are not a member of the patreon go ahead and join in the five dollar tier and you will be a part of it i'm not going to read them here because this live was mostly about escape okay if you want to click and join and click the notification bell i will do a live tomorrow where we will talk about that as well as simon and portia's court hearing that will go on tomorrow i'll do a combined live on that publicly tomorrow but tonight i will be over on the patreon patreon.com i am at alien and i will be over there in about five minutes okay if you are new here go ahead and like this video subscribe okay appreciate it click that notification bell twice so that you will be notified for the next stream shout out to rocky bivens for calling in and taking up for his wife latasha in this exclusive uh phone interview that i did not know was gonna happen okay shout out to uh my, my my sources who send me documents all the time i get documents all y'all just don't know my phone been blowing up these past couple of weeks okay but anyway i appreciate everyone uh shout out to straight from the a.com uh the actual document of the um the uh cease well it's not a cease and desist it's actually a well, I guess a trademark infringement notice that Latasha sent out. It's a copy of it. It's on straightfromtheA.com. So head on over there if you want to read it in its entirety. Uh, and um, that's all. Shout out to everybody for, you know, joining me in my exclusive. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all for joining me. Good night. Go to sleep. It's late in Atlanta. Good oh. night. Y'all know I ain't got no money. I'm not She's rich very like rich, honey. I'm not rich this like you. She's a very rich bitch. <laughs> she been in business way before I was in business. Okay. No, we came yeah. in business. Right. No, -uh. I been was in business. 20, 20, 2007. You've been in business. That's true. I've been in business. She's a very rich bitch. Oh, well, she's just a bitch. <laughs> I love y'all. Atlanta is the best place in the world. Don't ever get it twisted. I am definitely straight from the A. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy. Hanging out with Straight from the A. You know, I love you guys. I always visit the site. This is Tyler Perry, and if you want the truth, a lot of blogs don't tell the truth. Straight from the A.com. That's what you check out. And you love us, don't you? <laughs>